Hello everyone. Today we will be making we will be adding the functionality to the create post.php. So, so let's open this up. Basically, what will what we are gonna do is we will be checking if these forms in here hold up, let's log in. We will be checking if the title and the text area, which is the post description inputs, are empty or not. If they are empty, we will raise or throw an error. If they are not, we will add them to the, to the database, to the table that we created in the database form. So, let's go ahead and check if they are empty. Underneath, the, underneath this, add the following command. If, if um, server um, request method, method equals post. Whoops, what happened here? Okay, equals post. Then we will be adding the title to the post title. Okay, and the um, the post underscore disk, which stands for description post, um, in here, we will give it a name in here, and let's say disk, which stands for description, and we will be adding it in here, post description. So this is actually, we're talking about the value of the text area in this tag. So... Let's actually define another variable called errors, okay? And let's check if they are empty or not. So if um, if empty title or if empty um, post disk, okay? Then we will say we will raise an error that says um empty or let's say invalid inputs as well inputs okay now we will be displaying this errors message this error message um, on top of the form so we will be opening a p tag in here and we will be setting the color of it to red okay let's open a php tag in here inside the p tag Okay, now let's echo the errors message. Okay, let's go ahead and refresh this page. Let's go click submit. Invalid inputs. Okay, so now let's fill these. Okay, it gave nothing because meaning that it is correct. So let's click the L, let's add the else statement and in, inside the else statement, um, we will be adding these values inside our table called posting okay so before adding this we will be adding the HTML special cars to the to the variable title okay and this is to prevent exploits and vulnerabilities happening to your website and we already explained that this function it treats the argument or the value in here as plain text meaning that if you put an HTML tag in here it will treat it as normal string and not as an HTML tag so let's say first of all let's open a connection in here to the database let's say connect connection equals um, mysql i dot underscore connect um, localhost um, root 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to 9 and the forum database and here we will be adding or inserting the data inside the table called posting and we will do it by doing so a query equals mysql i query um, for on the thin, on this connection add the following command insert into 
um, posting which has um, title and um, is it post disk yeah exactly post disk which stands for description the following values the first one is title and the second one is post disk which stands for description okay now we added them to the database we will be checking if it is done or not um, echo uh, post created okay else throw an error let's say errors or echo it didn't work let's go ahead and go to that create post or first of all let's actually make sure that we are logged in we are logged in now let's create um, a post in here let's say testing one two three um, and the description should be PHP is so fun I made a, um, a creating post system and I'm proud of it let's say this and click submit it didn't work let's check out what ha what happened in here query okay insert into posting posting title and post oh it's actually post title and not title let's refresh this page let's actually open it again and say um php is so is fun okay and the description i made a forum out of p out of php so let's let's click submit it said post created but wait when you open or when you select the data from the posting um, from the posting table in forum let's say select everything from posting we will be see we will be um, experiencing that the poster is the poster column is actually empty right and everything else has a value so in order to fill this row in here we have actually to give um, the username which we have from the session in here that's why we created a session in here and we're using the session username inside so in here we will be saying insert into posting poster and the poster name is the session variable for the username which we started in the login page in the previous lesson in here and we made it hold the username value that the user input so we will be setting this to um, let's actually define this as username in here Okay, or let's define it as poster in here equals session. Okay, username. And let me repeat again. This variable was created in the login.php when we assigned the session variable for username to the to make it hold the value of the username that the user input so now let's delete the value in the table in here let's say delete from posting everything okay so now let's select all the data all the data from posting and it says empty let's create another post in here let's open it again okay now let's say php is is fun let's write the same description php is so fun so I made um, a forearm out of it okay now let's click submit 
it said post created let's actually select all the data from posting whoops hold up there's something wrong in here session username poster oh oh whoops I'm so sorry hold up I didn't actually specify this to be poster we should post here poster and then let's proceed let's actually delete the data again okay and now select to make sure it's empty let's create another post in here PHP is fun and let's say PHP is so fun so I made a forearm out of it let's click submit and it says post created let's actually select everything from the table and you can see that the poster column actually has a value or the row for this post actually has a value for the poster so the boat so the poster is testing which we um, input inside the login.php so the poster is testing and here is the title and here is the post description which we input inside this so now instead of saying post created we will be making it refer or redirect to the forum.php okay and this is actually done by doing so um, let's say um, location or I mean header location to forum.php and there in forum.php um, the title of the post and the creator, the name of the creator or po poster is going to be shown on the main page, which is forum.php. So let's create another post in here. Whoops. Let's go to create post.php and let's say, haha, okay, we have made it. Let's click submit and it referred us to the my forum to the forum.php and it already created the the post in here so now let's actually go to this error we have in our code what if the user input the same the same title let's say here whatever whatever what if the user input the same title for the post? If you click submit, it actually created the post and it's in the same title. And that is not accepted. The post description, if it was um, the same, then it does not matter, to be honest. But if the title was the same, it does matter. So we will be checking if, if the title is the same. By doing so first we will open a query or we will implement a chem a command in mysql from PHP by saying mysql query select um, title from okay select title from what is it called posting posting where title equals um, title equals title and this title is the user input so let's say data equals to uh, my my SQL I um, uh, fetch a source which stands for associative or associate and query and this function Hold up. This function in here takes the result of this and turn it or translate it into an associative array. So let's say here if data um, title if data title is null null then we will be creating the post so if if not if the title was already in this 
let's throw an error. Let's say errors, errors equals to host name already exists. Okay, and let's say else if it was not in the if it wasn't. Hold up. Okay. Else, if the post, if the title, if the post title was not in the database, create it and refer us or redirect us to the forum.php. So let's delete this space in here and let's delete all the data from the posting from the posting table and let's check it. It's empty. Okay. Let's go ahead and create a new post and let's say PHP is fun and let's say um, hey submit okay we can see that we created the post in here and it's called and it's called PHP is fun let's create another one and say PHP is fun and say hey let's create it again hold up I think I miss there's something wrong in here. Let's try it out. Is if it's not null. Title. Oh, whoops, whoops. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's say here post title because here we're actually talking about the column post title. Okay? So let's go ahead and delete all the all the data from the table and let's check it if it's empty okay let's create a new title and say php is fun and say hey let's see if it is there it's there okay now let's create another one and with the same title let's click submit it's still there hold up i guess i missed something in here oh i'm so sorry <laughs> i missed this okay Let's click here. Let's just change this as well because we're talking about the post title column and not the title. We're actually talking about the post title. Okay. So let's delete all the data in here and select it again. Whoops. And let's create a new one and say PHP is fun and say hey. Create another one. PHP is fun and say hey. Say see? It says post name already exists. Why? Because we actually created the post title in here. So if you change it to something like testing with the same post description and you click submit, it actually works. Because the post description does not matter, but the post title does. So let's actually explain why we got an error. So when you say select post title from posting where post title equals title. Post title, we're talking about the post title column in the posting table, okay? So when you say something like title, like this, select title from posting, title is actually not defined in the posting table. If you can see the columns in here, none of them is actually called title. So you have to say post title in here. And the same goes to here. If you say title, there's actually no po there's no column called title. But if you say post title, you're actually talking about the post title in here. So let's check it again. Let's see, just to make sure. Let's delete all the data in here. Okay. Now let's create a new post, and let's say PHP or let's say um, hey, okay, in capital. Let's say hey. Okay, it's created the post, but if you create a new post again and say hey, and say like this, it says post name already exists, and you can see that it did not create it. So, we have actually created or we have added the functionality to the create post.php. And now it's working fine. But we have one more thing to do. We want to um, let the user go back to the forum from this page. What if the user did not want or he changed his mind 
from creating a new post and he wanted to actually check the forum so we will be we'll, we will be adding a button in here to ref, to redirect us to the forum.php let's do that right now let's go ahead and underneath the sub the forum let's add an a or you know what underneath the create a new post header let's add an a an a tag and let's say href equals forum.php and let's say um, go back to the forum okay let's go ahead to the forum page create a new post and you can go back to the forum in here so it's actually pretty good right now so we have done and fully completed the create post.php next we will be displaying in the forum.php the name of the post and which is the title and the poster in here and if you click on them you will be seeing the post title the creator or poster and the post description so we will be doing all of these in the next lesson Thanks for watching.